The news commentator, Paul Harvey, often comes on with a program that he calls the rest of the story. And he tells us about famous people, but some details that you may not know. There was in a certain city a pastor who went home to be with the Lord, very small church. He had a son. And there were a number of people who wanted to pastor that church. The bishop took the position that in that denomination that the bishops chose pastors. So the bishop went to the church with a young man fresh out of seminary whom he thought would make a good pastor for the church. People had their minds made up that they wanted to go another way. And as the people protested right in front of the bishop, the bishop walked out, left, and left the young man there. And the young man had to quieten the people and say to them, you know, just give me a chance. They decided to quieten down and hear what he had to say, and this young man proved himself to be a real leader. He started pastoring the church. The church started growing. He had a vision to move into another location. And it ended up that that young man, as he matured, built the strongest and greatest membership in the whole of that denomination. That young man's name was Charles Blake. And West Angeles Church of God in Christ has now become a world-renowned church. And he is one of the great leaders of Christendom in this world. He's a member of the general board of the Church of God in Christ. He is the pastor of West Angeles and the jurisdictional prelate of Southern California, first ecclesiastical jurisdiction. He's a great gospel preacher. And for many years, since we were teenagers, he's been a personal friend of mine. Receive Bishop Charles E. Blake. God bless you. You may take your seats. To my dear friend and brother, Bishop G.E. Patterson, one of the finest and most visionary and most progressive pastors and bishops and now general board members on the face of the earth. Let's praise God for Bishop Patterson. One thing that I'm very proud of is that I've had the privilege of counting Bishop G.E. Patterson among my friends for now the greater part of both of our lives. One of the churches that had mercy on me in my early ministry and allowed me to share the gospel was the Holy Temple Church of God in Christ here in the city of Memphis. And in the early 1960s, from time to time, I would come and from occasionally, uh, now Bishop G.E. Patterson would even conduct a revival along with me. And uh, they would come out thinking they were going to get to hear him and it would be me, but it would be too late for them to go home. <laughs> and so I would have an opportunity to share the word of the Lord there and literally even then to learn from this great man of God who is your pastor. 
For a time, I was, I guess, the only individual of my generation on the general board. And when in the last election, the Church of God in Christ and the General Assembly had wisdom enough to elect Bishop G.E. Patterson as a member of the general board. <clears throat> Amen. It was very lonely, but now I feel a whole lot better. They've got another rabble rouser on there who can upset the status quo and hopefully someday bring our church more into this day. I think too frequently we reach for yesterday, but how many of you know it's time for a ministry of today and a ministry of tomorrow? And Bishop G.E. Patterson is one whom I feel will certainly make a vital and significant contribution to the life of the church today and in the future.